If a person could see the entire history of the creation of the earth and the world as a whole, he would be able to understand his place in this world. So, what part do we occupy in the universe? Who created everything visible and invisible? Does man need God? And is there God in the world where people live? The Bible is ready to answer all these questions. The Bible is a prophetic book, but at the same time, it's a historical document, since its text has survived to our time and is protected by God himself. The Lord said, If anyone adds anything to the words of the prophecy of this scroll, God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this scroll. The Bible is historically accurate. Such ancient Roman and ancient Greek historians and scholars as Cornelius Tacitus, Gaius Suetonius Tranquillus, Pliny the Younger and Thallus also wrote about the worship and persecution of Christians, which corresponds to the events described in the New Testament. Many believe that the Bible has been rewritten many times and contains inaccuracies. But was the text of the New Testament actually changed or distorted? If the translation was made from other translations, then such a possibility would really exist. However, the translation wasn't made from another translation, but from the original Greek text found in ancient manuscripts. We know that the text of the New Testament that has survived to this day fully corresponds to the original and is authentic, because, there are many handwritten copies, over 5,000. The manuscripts were found shortly after they were written. The words in the texts of these documents coincide by 99.5%. Different versions of the text are so rare cases that scholars Norman Geisler and William Nix came to the conclusion. The New Testament not only came down to us in a huge number of manuscripts, more than any other book of antiquity, but also, unlike other known books, has been preserved in its purest form. The coincidence of the text is 99.5%. Dr. Ravi Zacharias, a visiting scholar of the University of Cambridge, said, Nothing can provide more weighty evidence of the authenticity of ancient manuscripts than the availability and integrity of the text. It should be noted that the Bible was written due to the need to state the facts, to transmit them over long distances, and to preserve them for future generations. The Bible is a book that was written over more than 1,500 years and over the lives of 40 generations. It was written by over 40 authors from all social classes, including kings, peasants, philosophers, fishermen, poets, statesmen and scientists. Henry Pickering writes that in order to meet the demand for the Bible about 30 years ago, the British and Foreign Bible Society were required to produce one copy every three seconds, around the clock, that is 22 books per minute, 1,369 per hour, 32,876 copies daily throughout the year. The Bible is the most trustworthy ancient document in human history. Today, not a single archaeological find contradicts what is written in the Bible, but, on the contrary, confirms its historical accuracy. Archaeologists are constantly finding new evidence that many of the government officials, kings, cities and holidays mentioned in the Bible did exist. Also, many of the ancient places named by the disciple of Jesus Christ, the physician Luke, in the book of Acts, have been found by archaeologists. In all, Luke unmistakably indicates 32 countries, 54 cities and 9 islands. God destroys all strongholds and shows the inconsistency of false hypotheses put forward in the direction of God's word. To prepare God's people for the coming of Jesus Christ is the purpose of the Old Testament, which contains all the prophecies and facts from the earthly life of God in the flesh. The New Testament is a literal manifestation of God to people. The coming of the Messiah was predicted long before the actual coming of Christ. Bible prophecies have been fulfilled so accurately that many critics tend to believe that these prophecies were recorded after the fulfillment. But such claims are wrong. After all, the predictions of the prophets contain clear indications of the time of their appearance. As the Most High, God is able to predict the future. Fulfilled Bible prophecies show that they were recorded as inspired by God, not that they were recorded later. That is why we are dealing with such a phenomenon as prophetic predictions. The purpose of prophecy is to prove that God is the only and true Lord, omniscient, and always keeping His word. Everything in the world is subject to God's will. 
The Old Testament contains more than 300 predictions about the Messiah that were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Jesus was born in Bethlehem from the seed of a woman who was a virgin. The kings of Arabia and Sheba brought gifts, treasures and gold to the cradle of the child, and Herod, the king of the ruling dynasty of that time, commanded to kill all children from two years old and younger, because from the first days of Jesus' life they called him the king of the Jews. Every detail has been accurately described and predicted. And despite the logical impossibility of fulfilling some of the prophecies, they all came true with 100% accuracy. God himself spoke from heaven, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. God did the impossible because of his love for people, his beloved creations. Jesus Christ, who is the word of God, clothed himself in human flesh in order to suffer for the sin of the world, to redeem our guilt and to go to hell. He alone descended into the place of gnashing of teeth and poisonous abominable things, but took the keys from enemies, took away the power over death, subjugated every atom to himself and confirmed the status of God. The divinity of Jesus is obvious and indisputable, because for this he was crucified. After Pilate heard that Jesus was the Son of God, he wrote on the tablet of the cross, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. When Christ was resurrected, he ascended to heaven in power and glory, the position that he had from the beginning returned to him, but which he gave without hesitation for the life of people. This is evidenced by the apocalyptic book of Revelation of end time prophecies, recorded by John in the first century after Christ. Jesus dwells in our midst today by his spirit. The church is the meeting place of God and man, which God is building himself. Proof of this is the fact that despite persecution and oppression, years of atheistic propaganda and centuries of protests against the Bible, criminal prosecutions and the death penalties of Christians, the Church of Jesus Christ exists even after 2000 years. All this gives us the base to believe what is written in the Bible, Jesus is the Son and God who came to give us life. And the Bible is literally and precisely the written word of God. It doesn't need justification, because its every word is truth, it speaks for itself.